Hello there, good morning. Uh, we're at Moy Finch and Chips again in Beverly Hills, California. Today is Monday, April the 16th, 2018. I'm Howard Paul Short with Dr. Herman. Mm -hmm. Thank you for inviting me back. Yes, we're still tackling this pigmented scar he has on his leg. And this is a challenging thing for us to treat. We're actually going to be using a duplex laser that will do a PDL setting and a 1064 setting to help try to break up some of that pigment. There's a little bit of redness to it. That's what we're hoping for the PDL to get. Um, but this is from a prior injury that he had, and it's, it's a challenge for us, but the more we hit it, hopefully we'll get that to fade out faster for you. And for this machine, are we also going to be doing the little dot on my face as well? We are. This is, it's a deeper, it's either some pigment or a deeper blood vessel that's on his face, and I'm going to actually use a picosecond laser that we typically use for tattoos, um, and that will help hopefully break that up um, and make his body absorb it and make it disappear. So we'll do that second. Perfect. We'll get you up here. Okay. We're going to protect your eyes so we can have a hole. So this one just feels like a little bit of a rubber band. We'll use some cooling air just to protect this. Did they wash that off for you? Have you maybe turn on your side? Okay. Yeah, that's perfect. All right. Here we go. One, two, three. So that's, there's two fires. The first is the PDL, and the second one goes a little bit deeper and helps get at some of that purplish brown color. How's it feel, okay? I feel nothing. Good. Just that, a cool air. We try not to make it a torture session for people. <laughs> All right. Was I going to get my face zapped over here with this? No, with the other one? Okay. Yeah. All right. So we'll just continue and go to the other room. Mm -hmm. That's how we messed up here. Actually, you can bring it with you because you'll be, I think, leaving after you're done. No worries. Mm -hmm. Looking at this part, you turn to this Botox so you can redo mm -hmm. that part. Thank you. Right here, this one. I don't think so. Still on? Mm -hmm. Look at his face right now. Mm -hmm. How have other patients respond to things like that? This, I mean, this laser works really well for treatments and Oh, good. So my hope is that it will have to do with the depth and if there's something or a little bit of a if not, what kind of blood points do we consider No one mark on it. Let's hope for the best. Yeah. So the name of this laser machine is called what again? It's a picosecond laser. We're okay. Using a picosecond laser. It's a little bit more advanced than a laser that we use for tattoos. Okay. Because we're not just going to use it to make tattoos. We're going to use it to actually break up some of that pigment. Okay. Because we can see that the pigment is really starting to show up on his leg. Okay. So we're going to
This just came random, is that right? You don't remember yeah, any injury or anything? No, or? no, nothing. Absolutely nothing. So we're going to start with the one setting and just kind of see how you do. And then we'll make an adjustment if needed. Alright, you ready? Here we go, one, two, three. You okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's fine. It's almost like feeling a little electric shock. Yeah, it's very quick. Though. Exactly. It's mm -hmm. very quick, which is nice. It's, let me see if I can get it out here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That sound that you're hearing, that's it's converting the light energy into into sound as it breaks up those those particles. And we're looking for it to turn a little bit of light. So this is good. This is promising. I think it is deeper than what that PDL could reach. So you can hear that photo, we call it the photoacoustic effect when it changes the light energy into it. So let's see what that does. So it's just a little bit lighter right now. It's not that deep purple color. You can always hit it again. If we need to, sometimes you know, these, are, these are stubborn, but let's, let's see how it does. We'll probably know in about a month. Um, it oh, will really? some time for it to kind of break up in your body to get rid of the <coughs> So in this case, I should wait a few weeks? Actually, I'd wait a few weeks. Let's, let's, let's reassess in about a month. Okay. Um, and if we have to go through that, quite a bit. And a question. Does this method, or would this method work for the this coloration on my right hand? Yeah, that was a the question I wanted to ask. Not Sometimes we can use a very light setting. We don't want to cause too much injury because this is already injury, um, treatment from injury, so we don't want to put more injury back in this hand or else it can be faster in the patient. So we have to be pretty gentle on that. Um, so okay. This might be a little bit too much. Good. Well, so thank you so much. You're welcome. Once again, we're on Moyne Fincher Chips, and if you need great dermatology work, You've got the best place to go to. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Bye-bye.